why pump pressure is expressed in liquid head or liquid height in major surface. A pump throws liquid in the opposite direction of a free falling body from a certain height. A free falling body starts from zero velocity at a certain height and then reaches maximum velocity at the ground. On the other hand, a pump throws liquid at a maximum velocity at its impeller exit to reach zero velocity at a certain height. The height of liquid travel from impeller exit of a pump with impeller diameter of 500 millimeter running at 1800 rpm can be determined as follows. Peripheral velocity of the impeller at exit point U2 is equal to pi d2 n by 60 that means pi into 0.5 meter into 1800 divided by 60 that means 47.12 meter per second. So at this velocity the liquid will be thrown by the impeller at the impeller exit. Therefore the height of liquid travel is given by 0 is equal to u2 square minus 2 gs that means s is equal to u2 square by 2g that means h is equal to 130 meter. So the height is 130 meter. It can be observed that no liquid property enters the equation. Maximum velocity of the liquid depends only on the impeller size and speed. Thus, a pump always produces the same head, regardless of the type of liquid being pumped. However, pressure will increase or decrease in direct proportion to a liquid's specific gravity, that means P is equal to rho gs and power input to the pump will also vary directly with liquid's specific gravity. Thus, a centrifugal pump can develop the same 100 meter of head when pumping water, brine or kerosene. The resulting pressures, however, will vary. Therefore, the pump pressures are expressed in liquid height in meters or feet liquid head.